tonight where there is a surge in K2 overdoses. Police now are suspecting that there is a batch that is worse than the synthetic drug already is. Stephen Cheetah is tracking this for us. And Stephen, you know, we're talking more than 200 people sickened so far. Yeah, that's right, Jonathan. A very serious problem here. Now it's called K2 Spice and it looks harmless. They also call it poison packets, kind of like potpourri here, but it's sending a lot of people to the ER. It's popularity increasing. It's danger growing. A particularly toxic batch of synthetic marijuana called Spice or K2 sent a burst of users to the hospital in just the first two weeks of this month. Some in D.C., such as Ronald Williams, don't know what can be done to stop those who want a cheap high from K2. Hell, <laughs> it's only don't do it, but that, you know, that's easy, for, you know, to tell someone to say, you know, don't do drugs, don't do alcohol, but they're still going to do it. K2 usually consists of bits of plants laced with industrial chemicals, which fire up the brain much like THC, the naturally occurring agent in marijuana. K2 causes a spate of psychological and physical problems, hallucinations, rapid heart rate, and combative, aggressive behavior. I guess if they did it one time and they never died, it ain't, they, they figured it ain't going to never happen to them. So I don't know why they're doing it. Fire and rescue personnel say the current batch of K2 on the market in D.C. is particularly harmful and potent. These numbers back up the assessment. During the first two weeks of February, D.C. saw 207 reported cases of K2 overdoses. The vast majority of victims so bad off they were rushed to the hospital. One reason why this highly toxic drug with such devastating consequences is so popular, it's cheap. A packet can cost as little as one dollar. I just think it's just a, a cheap, cheaper drug on the market, you know, but um, it's just, you know, it's sad, you know, yeah, to kill you, you know. So far, none of the people hospitalized from K2 overdoses this month has died, but the city did see several K2-related deaths last year. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. Stephen